Let me close the door just a sec. It's like 9 o'clock right now. Anyways, I'm Frankensteining in a 79 power steering pump. into my 73 Mustang and I will continue this video with showing you how I do it all I gotta do is take off a little bit more material off this uh, backing plate as you can see I've already cut a lot of off of there, off of there. And when I'm done, it'll be a 79 power steering pump and a 73 Mustang. How can this happen? Well, the people at um, O'Reilly's found the right power steering pressure hose for it. It went out of their way to make sure this happens. Anyways, update later. For now, I'll just uh, post a video of me hanging out in the canyon and and uh, playing with the birds, you know, stuff like that, for tonight. Later on, I'll show you how I uh, put this, uh, this plate on a uh, bridge, bridge port and modify it by just simply taking off material off of this. I've already done it once, as you can see. I've got sharpie marks. I got to take off here. More material off of here. Uh, I'll do that on a later video when I'm on the Bridgeport to show you how you modify this because the, the mounting holes are the same for a '79 pump. Was that pump there? These pumps suck, dude. I'm oh, serious. They always come up with some kind of lame reason why the old '73 Mustang Peristine pump always has to leak. It leaks everywhere. Look at the bottom of this. This is a, a rebuilt that I put together years ago. I haven't used it yet. But you notice how I put all the silicone on here? Make sure it doesn't leak out of the side of this uh, cover. Plus, it always comes up with lame reasons why it's got to leak out of here. Right here. Lame. Leaky stuff. But with this pump, look at that connection. They use an O ring seal to seal it up compared to a compression fit. Now look at this. Is it going to focus? Let's see. Well, as you can see in there, on that 45 degree angle, there is damage there. That's what happens when you put it on a uh, fitting like this. And if it's not perfectly smooth, there's going to be damage on your pressure hose fitting. So, to avoid that, you go with an o ring seal type of fitting to your power steering pump. I know you can't avoid the old style. This is 11 sixteenths fitting to a 73 Mustang. And yes, it is the pressure fitting is has to be perfect at all times on that side of it. So you gotta have a good steering box for the 11 sixteenths size hole with the 3 8 
the 3 8 uh, hose that has, has to be flared for it. So anyways, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this old hose because it doesn't leak except right here. Because later on I, I can get a like a flare tool for about you know maybe fifteen dollars or something like that or less. You can get it new, brand new for twenty bucks, or you can get a flare fitting at the uh, thrift store or, or the swap meet or something like that. You know, I mean, there's, there's old guys out there who have all these flare fittings, so you can get them cheaper. Later on, I might be able to get it. If not, that's okay. So, I'll be ready to go. That old hose, this end is still good. I got a good steering box that does not mess up the flare fitting when you put it on there. Yeah, these old uh, pressure flare fittings. I think they're still using them in cars today, but I like this one the best from 1979 takes an o-ring and it comes with the o-ring right there. Where's it at? Anyways, well, take my word for it. I'll bring it goes around here. Right there in that little uh, undercut right there. See that? That's where the o-ring goes. So, I like that much better. Because of these things here. Never ending excuse to leak. Ugh, years uh, I've been putting up with that. I got one here laying on the floor. See this? That one will probably work. I think it's been sitting there for about 10 years now. Probably full of dust. Grime. Let's look at the fitting behind it. Looks pretty smooth, a little rust on it. Might work. Pet Boys gave me this one years and years and years ago. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, back to miscellaneous videos. This one's kind of boring, I know. 79 Ford LTD Put the uh, 79 uh, Parachine pump up to it on a 73 Mustang Has the 11 sixteenths connector right there If you're wondering how to do that if you got a 73 Mustang Not too likely somebody like that out here is watching that going. Oh, I have a 73 Mustang now Not too likely 